Living life can often be compared to navigating the currents of a river. Sometimes, the waters are calm, other times they're rapid, but one thing remains constant, the flow. In the realms of psychology and personal development, the term flow captures this essence of effortless alignment with our environment and activities. At its heart, flow is about harmony, a synchronization between mind and task, and when tapped into, life truly seems to stream effortlessly. Embarking on a journey without a destination is akin to setting sail without a compass. In the vast ocean of life, it's easy to get swept away by distractions and unanticipated storms. However, with the power of clear goals, one's path becomes illuminated, making navigation smoother. These objectives, often arising from one's innermost desires and passions, serve as signposts, ensuring that even amidst life's unpredictabilities, one can find their way back. They're not just markers of success, but they also act as reminders of one's true purpose, connecting every action to a deeper intention. Yet, it's essential to recognize that while goals provide direction, the flow is not about rigidly adhering to a preset path. Instead, it's about allowing oneself to be drawn effortlessly towards these goals. As one finds themselves deeply engrossed in activities aligned with their aspirations, they tap into a reservoir of energy, passion, and focus. This state of flow transcends the linear progression of ticking off milestones. It encapsulates the joy of the journey itself. Every step taken in alignment with one's goals not only brings them closer to their dreams, but also deepens their connection with the very essence of flow, letting everything in their life unfold seamlessly. In the tapestry of existence, where myriad threads of thoughts, actions and distractions intertwine, it is the magnetism of concentration that allows one to pinpoint and follow the golden thread leading to their dreams. Embracing this focus acts as a transformative lens, sharpening blurred visions and making the abstract tangible. This is not just about narrowing one's attention, but rather refining it filtering out the extraneous to truly see and appreciate the essential. As the distractions fall away, a person becomes attuned to their innermost intentions, ensuring every action and thought propels them forward in alignment with their goals. However, genuine concentration isn't forceful. Rather, it emerges naturally when one's activities resonate deeply with their essence. In this state, Every moment becomes an act of mindful observation. Concentration anchors one in the present, allowing the richness of now to be fully experienced and harnessed. It's here that the magic happens, where the fusion of attention and intention births results beyond one's imagination. As Leonardo da Vinci aptly put it, while human judgment may err, true art requires a mind that is always focused, the inherent beauty of this magnetic pull is that it is self-renewing. By consistently being engrossed in pursuits that align with one's passion, the flow becomes a reinforcing loop. Over time, the individual becomes increasingly attuned to this flow, effortlessly drawing experiences, opportunities, and wisdom from the universe, proving that when one truly concentrates on their path, the universe conspires to guide them forward. In the vast dance of existence, there exists a precious moment when the dancer becomes the dance. This is the profound nature of losing self-consciousness. As the boundaries blur between self and action, one doesn't just perform an activity, they embody it. Such moments aren't confined to the great artists or elite athletes. They're universal experiences, reachable by anyone who dives deeply into their pursuits with a heart full of passion and a mind free from distractions. The remarkable thing about this state is the freedom it ushers in. When we're not chained by the weight of our own judgments or the perceived judgments of others, our true potential unfurls. We begin to act not out of a desire to impress or stand out, but from a genuine alignment with our inner essence. The mind becomes an open field and creativity gushes forth like a spring from its depths. 
It's in this state that many have described feeling a connection with something greater than themselves, a cosmic dance of sorts. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, to be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. In the context of flow, this quote resonates deeply. Loss of self-consciousness isn't about negating the self, but truly discovering it. By momentarily forgetting our constructed identities and societal masks, we glimpse our authentic selves, unburdened and unlimited. However, these moments are not fleeting anomalies, but signposts pointing to our natural state. By recognizing and cherishing these episodes, one can cultivate an environment conducive to their recurrence. The journey then becomes one of aligning one's life and activities with this flow, leading to a state where everything seamlessly and effortlessly integrates, making life not just a series of events, but a harmonious symphony. Flow has a peculiar relationship with time. Engulfed in it, clocks seem to lose their grip, and hours can feel like fleeting moments. This distortion isn't a mere illusion, but a testament to the profound absorption that accompanies genuine engagement. When one is deeply immersed in an activity, external distractions, including the constant ticking of time, fade into the background, allowing the individual to be fully present in the now. This absorption leads to a richer experience, where every moment is vivid, filled with detail and nuance. In this altered perception of time, there's an underlying message about the nature of our lives. Often, we live by the clock, rushing from one obligation to another, barely stopping to catch our breath. But in moments of flow, we're reminded that quality trumps quantity. It's not about how much time we have, but how we choose to spend it. By seeking activities and experiences that draw us into this flow state, we are making a conscious choice to live more deeply, extracting more juice from every moment. But how does one harness the time warp phenomenon for a life that flows more effortlessly? It begins with a commitment to cultivating activities and environments that encourage deep concentration and engagement. By prioritizing these moments, we anchor ourselves in the present, allowing the past and future to dissolve, if only temporarily. The magic lies not in escaping time, but in embracing its fluidity and in doing so, recognizing that we hold the power to shape our experience of it. Flow thrives on the clarity of immediate response, a dynamic where every action yields a reaction, helping individuals navigate their journey. This principle of direct feedback is not just about acquiring information, but about the rhythm and harmony it introduces into our activities. Just as a dancer responds to the beats of a song, adjusting movements and pace, a person in flow adjusts and fine-tunes their approach based on the feedback they receive. It provides a real-time compass, guiding individuals to maintain alignment with their goals and desired outcomes. The beauty of this feedback loop is its ability to smooth out the path to effortless flow. It acts as a constant anchor ensuring that one doesn't drift too far off course. It is important to stay attuned to feedback, whether it comes from the external environment or from internal signals, so that micro-adjustments can be made to prevent potential challenges from escalating. This continuous dance of feedback fosters a more harmonious relationship with one's tasks and environment, encouraging a state where everything indeed flows effortlessly into life. At the heart of achieving flow lies the delicate equilibrium between the challenges we face and the skills we possess. Imagine standing on a tightrope. To your left is a world of tasks too easy, leading to boredom and disengagement. To your right, challenges too vast, pushing you into anxiety and uncertainty. But right beneath your feet, where challenge meets skill, is where the magic of flow happens. This balance ensures that we are neither overwhelmed nor underwhelmed, but perfectly engaged, making every task feel as if it effortlessly merges into our existence. Dr. Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, 
who extensively researched the concept of flow, once remarked, flow is the kind of feeling after which one nostalgically says, that was fun, or that was enjoyable. To make working itself enjoyable, it must be structured so that it produces flow. This encapsulates the essence of this principle. When tasks are in sync with our capabilities, not only does it lead to increased efficiency, but it also brings forth joy, satisfaction, and a feeling of harmony with one's environment. Yet, the equilibrium is dynamic. As one's skills improve, it's crucial to seek out new challenges to maintain that delicate balance. This proactive pursuit ensures that as we evolve, our experiences continue to be enriched by the state of flow. It's a cyclical journey where the experience of flow drives the hunger to enhance skills, which in turn demands greater challenges, ensuring an ongoing dance of growth and engagement. Thus, the principle of challenge meets skill isn't just about finding that balance, but also about being in tune with oneself. Recognizing personal growth, acknowledging new skill thresholds, and then recalibrating challenges ensures that one's life remains a beautiful choreography where every step, turn and leap is an effortless part of the dance of existence. In the river of life, experiencing flow is akin to being a skilled captain who expertly commands their ship, navigating the currents with confidence and mastery. Personal control in the context of flow is the empowering sense of steering one's actions in alignment with desires and goals. This doesn't necessarily mean having control over external circumstances, but rather possessing the agency to respond proactively. By having this personal command, individuals can guide their experiences towards positive and constructive outcomes, ensuring that tasks and challenges are not just met, but are harmoniously integrated into the broader journey. For those seeking to enhance this sense of control, a valuable technique is the three R's approach. Recognize, reflect, and redirect. First, recognize the moments when you feel out of control or disoriented. Awareness is the foundation of change. Next, reflect on why you feel this way and what triggered this response. Understanding the root cause provides clarity. Finally, redirect your energy and focus toward actions that align with your desired outcomes. By regularly practicing the three R's, you can cultivate a strong sense of personal control, ensuring that even in the face of life's unpredictable currents, you remain in a state of flow, seamlessly and effortlessly moving forward. Flow isn't just a transient state of heightened efficiency. It's a testament to the profound truth that often the journey itself offers the most profound rewards. When individuals engage deeply in activities and challenges that are harmoniously aligned with their skills and passions, the very act of doing becomes the primary source of fulfillment. This alignment removes the obsession with the end result, fostering an appreciation for every moment, every step, and every decision that is made along the way. As one immerses in the process, each action becomes a dance of purpose and passion, rendering the destination secondary to the joy of the journey itself. However, adopting such a mindset requires an intentional shift. In a world that often places paramount importance on outcomes and end goals, recognizing the intrinsic value in the process can be revolutionary. It demands a reorientation of focus from the future to the present, from what's pending to what's unfolding right now. Embracing the present moment and savoring each phase of the journey yields the most lasting rewards that are often hidden in the nuances of the journey. In this way, flow elevates the act of doing into an art form where the process itself becomes its own reward. In addition to being a state of mind, flow is also a way of life. It's the undercurrent that drives passion fuels creativity, and bridges the gap between the mundane and the extraordinary. A world where dreams are not just pursued, they are lived is one in which these eight characteristics are identified, woven into the fabric of daily life 
and brought forth effortlessly 